Hey everyone, it's Jeff with Thermo Repair Tutor, and this video is going to show you how to install the Nest Learning Thermostat. It's pretty awesome. It's right here. I'm also going to share with you how to take off your old thermostat. So stay tuned for a ton of tips. Let's get started. Before doing anything with your thermostat, make sure you turn off the electricity to the heating and cooling system at the electric panel or fuse box. Typically on thermostats like this, there are two tabs that are holding it in place. So what you want to do is lift up on it like so and pull out towards you like this. Watch. Okay. So it flips up and you pull it out. So the two tabs are here. It's one, two, two tabs here. And then there are pins that go into the back of the thermostat. So that's how you remove it. You pull up and out. So the next step is to remove the two screws, one, two, that hold this casing in place. The next, the next suggestion that I do have is to take a picture of the wires and how they're configured on the existing thermostat. Now, why do you want to do that? You want to do that because if you don't know how the old thermostat was wired up, it might be a little bit difficult to wire the new one, but it's just nice to have a reference point. So I have a red, a red wire here, I've got a white wire, a yellow wire, a green wire, and then I have a light blue colored wire here. All right, so take that picture and use it as a reference when putting in your new thermostat. Our wall does have some rust spots around it, and my wife forewarned me that if I don't make this look absolutely perfect, she's not going to allow me to install the new thermostat. So what I'm gonna do here is sand these rough spots down with a random orbital sander, but you, can, you don't have to be as extreme as me. You can use just 220 grit or 300 grit, whatever the, low, the highest grit will be to get these rough spots smoothed down, use that. <laughs> Once you're all sanded, wipe down the wall. Make sure you get all the dust off of it. Okay. What you can do next is remove the plastic inserts from the wall that, that the screws went into. And I'm using a set of needle nose pliers to do that. Now obviously you're left with holes in the wall, which my wife isn't happy about, and it's probably a little, gonna be a little bit rough where this case used to be. So what you'll need to do is use patch plus primer. Uh, now this is a lightweight spackling that is really, really cool because you don't need to prime it. And all you need to do is put your top coat, so in this case orange, you just need to put your top coat over the patch plus primer once it dries. So what you do is just smear this on like so. It kind of applies to the wall like peanut butter. What I like to do is smear this on about two inches beyond where the patch needs to go. Because that way what I can do is smooth it out with a six inch drywall knife. Okay, so once all your patch is in place, Smooth it out, apply pressure to this side of the knife so that the left side in this case just lightly goes over the spackling. So again, apply pressure here, a little bit lighter here. Okay, so let this dry. You wanna let this dry and then you can smooth it down with sandpaper or a sanding sponge. So that's the next step. So once you patch your wall, you can sand it down in a circular fashion using a sanding sponge. I highly recommend using patch plus primer if you're gonna just paint over this with the same paint that you have on the wall. That way you don't have to prime this. If you're just gonna paint the whole wall, you can use patch plus primer or joint compound. Either or will work. So before you do anything, you want to go to the Nest website, nest.com, and then go down here 
and click on Will the Nest Work for You? What it does is bring up a, uh, a wiring option here. So it says remove the cover of your thermostat then check off the wires that you have below. So in my case I have an R, a W, a Y, a C, and a G. And you can go to more wires here but if these are all the wires that you have, you just click on yes, continue, and it says you're compatible, congratulations. And then it shows you where to put all the corresponding wires, which is way cool. So this is how you would wanna wire the base plate of the Nest based on the wires that you have in your existing thermostat. It's that simple. With my vice grip in place and holding the wires from going back into the wall, I can remove all the wires, okay? But first, what you wanna do is label them. So the Nest comes with labels already. So what you do is you put these labels on the wires. All right, with all my wires now labeled, I did install a screw on the top slot here. Now, the cool thing is the Nest does come with a little level on it. So once you have it level, then you can screw the bottom screw in place. Okay, so I put all the wires in and I left the ground one in place. What I wanted to do is show you how easy this is. So you put it into the slot, you press on the button, and you shove the wire in, and that's it. That's all you need to do to wire the nest. And you push the wires in place, try to push them so that they're flush with the back of this plate. All right, so the back of the nest display, this is the display, has all the tabs here, okay? So what you do is you line it up, push it on, once it's clicked and in place, and the Nest label is on the top, you're all done. Now what you need to do is turn the power on, either at the breaker or at your HVAC system. And then the Nest will walk you through the setup. All right, that's it. That's how you install the Nest Learning Thermostat. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you visit my website, homerepairtutor.com. Sign up for the email newsletter because you're going to get a ton of great home repair tips, and I promise you'll learn something every single week. So take care. Have a great day.